Just 10 days ago, SpaceX left us stunned by catching the super heavy booster midair, and now they're wasting no time. Super Heavy Booster B-13 has already arrived at the launch site for a potential static fire test in the coming days. Road closures are scheduled for the 23rd and 24th, so we're expecting action soon. Why a static fire test and not a cryogenic test? That's because SpaceX now conducts cryogenic tests at Massey's site, and B-13 has already passed that milestone weeks ago. This could mark one of the fastest turnarounds for bringing a super heavy booster back to the launch site after a launch. Looking ahead, Starship S-31 is the likely partner for B-13 on Flight 6. S-31 already completed its static fire test at Massey's before Flight 5. So could we be looking at a November launch for Flight 6? Drop your predictions in the comments. The FAA has already cleared SpaceX for this flight, regardless of how Flight 5 performed. The launch pad is ready, showing no major damage from the last flight. Now, it's all about finalizing mission objectives and ensuring Booster 13 is ready for the next big test. Soon enough, we'll witness another booster catch, something that might soon become as routine as Falcon 9 landings. Flight 6's profile should resemble Flight 5, but SpaceX might have its eyes on enhancing the performance of the heat tiles, which are still a key factor for rapid reusability. That said, SpaceX could also throw a curveball, delaying the flight to test both a ship and booster catch early next year, when the second tower is ready. Time will reveal what's next. Speaking of Flight 5, SpaceX successfully recovered the hot staging ring, which played an essential role in the mission. For Starship to achieve full reusability, even this component needs to be reusable, and SpaceX may have devised a way to recover it, just like they do with Falcon 9's fairing halves. Let's take a moment to reflect on how insane October has been for SpaceX. They've launched six missions in just 10 days, including one of the most challenging and ambitious in history. Today's attempt to launch Starlink 661 from SLC 40 in Florida to add 23 more Starlink satellites to the Constellation was scrubbed due to unfavorable weather conditions in the booster recovery area. SpaceX is targeting tomorrow at 5.47 p.m. Eastern Time for another attempt. This mission will mark SpaceX's 104th launch of 2024, inching closer to their goal of 148 launches this year. Do you think they'll hit that mark? And with three Starship flights already this year and a possible fourth soon, should SpaceX speed up the Starship program, especially with the Artemis 3 mission, our return to the moon, just a couple of years away? Do you think regulators should move swiftly and make timely decisions to support a program like Starship while still ensuring public safety? If the US aims to remain a leader in space exploration, much of that future rests on the success of SpaceX.